Mrs. Mason from the Highland Virtual Academy. Um, welcome back. And I'm going to do an ideal lesson, a second level ideal lesson um, on art. And we're going to be looking at the work of a Dutch artist called Escher. Okay, so you might already recognize some of this patterning. Um, they're called tessellations. You might have done some at school. So let's find out what you need for your lesson today. You definitely need to bring creativity to this lesson because you're going to be creating some tessellations. You'll need paper and a ruler, rubber and lots of patience. So let's have a little look at, have a little look at um, a PowerPoint um, on tessellations and Mauritius Cornelius Escher. So what do you notice about these patterns? What do you notice? What do they all have in common? Yes, they're all little shapes. Yes, they all go in different directions. Some are coloured, some are not. But there's one thing they have in common. Tessellations are patterns that are repeated again and again. There's no gaps, but they never overlap, as you can see. So, who was Escher? Well, I say he was Dutch. He was born over 200 years ago. And when he was in school, he didn't do very well, but he was a very talented artist. When he was younger, he visited Spain and he was absolutely inspired by these beautiful mathematical designs and patterns. And he wanted to produce his own tessellations. And did you know that as well as being a graphic artist, he was an illustrator. He designed murals, which are the paintings that go on big walls. And he even designed postage stamps. So what are you going to do for your task today? Well, I want you to create tessellations using these shapes here. So you know you're going to have to start with one and join others round about it. And it's your own creativity. There's no right and there's no wrong. So make sure the shape is exactly the same every time you draw it. How could you do that? How could you make sure the shape is exactly the same every time you draw it? Why don't you make a template? Take a piece of stiff paper or, or thin card and draw your shapes on that to start with and then use it to go around each time you do a new piece of the tessellation. You can even use an arrow shape. So what could you do with them? Well, look, once you start joining them up, you can go far and wide with them. You can go anywhere you want. So be as creative as you can. OK, so think about what we've just talked about, what we learned. So we should have, we know what a tessellation is now. These are shapes that have, they're side by side, they have no gaps and they don't overlap. So you probably don't have a partner in the house, but you might manage to have somebody else round about you, a carer or a parent or a sibling. Okay, and you can share three things with them about Escher. Now, there's a video clip here, which is a little bit more information about Escher. And it has some astoundingly beautiful shots of his work. And it'll explain to you just how his mind worked. So close to maths. Have a look, click the link, then you can come back here. OK, so you've got quite a lot of information about Escher. And here's some more of his beautiful designs, not always straight lines. And you heard in the video clip that sometimes he used animals or little people. Let's have a look at some of the bizarre uh, shapes that he used. Very mathematical. Maybe this will inspire you. This one's amazing because it looks like it's 3D, doesn't it? It looks like it's 3D, that the paper's flat and that the hands are actually coming out of the paper. So have a look at the, have a look at the, the planes that he's using and the perspective is very important. This is the, the picture that you saw earlier which is called relativity. And when I was putting the slide together, I found it quite difficult to work out which way up to put this slide because this is the one where he's playing with dimensions and planes again. It's fantastic. Wonder what that would look like if we did it in Lego. 
I wonder what it would look like if we did it in Lego. Here's relativity in Lego. Just for a bit of fun, but it does show you the angles of the planes that the people are going up and down stairs and different angles and shapes. Fantastic spiral. A lot of this work draws your eye. It, it, it kind of makes your brain think in a different way, doesn't it? It's a good workout for your brain. Okay, so on you go. So your task. Okay, so your task is to try and make your own tessellations. Start with those three initial patterns, the three initial shapes. Use a template and then you can start becoming even more creative. And remember, after this pre-recorded lesson, um, I'm available live if you have any questions or you need any help. Good luck. Show me what you can do. Mm -hmm.